Good morning, stamping friends. How are you guys? I am freezing. Oh my gosh, it is so cold here in Arizona. I know I cannot complain too much because our cold is probably shorts weather for you, but I think we were at 32 degrees when I woke up and there was frost on the road. And I think we're up to 45 now, but it is chilly here. I'm not used to this. Well, in case you are new to my channel, my name is Lori Heiling and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I love sharing with you on my YouTube lives and I'm here every Tuesday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. Arizona time. So today you're in for a little treat because I am going to make a kind of a non-traditional Stampin' Up! project. It's a 3D item and it's kind of something that um, I turned into a Stampin' Up! project based on the product that I saw in a store. So if you are a Target shopper and you make it through the Bullseye Dollar Tree or Dollar Area, then you may have seen these and I am anxious to share with you how I turned it kind of into Stampin' Up!y style. So hang on while I turn my camera around and I will share with you today's project. You are in for a treat today. We are going to make a fun project and if you like to go to Target and hit their dollar spot, then you are going to enjoy this project that we're going to make today. Also, if you have someone who's hard to buy for, this gift will work from age 0 to 110. So hopefully you can um, use this idea for basically anyone you can think of. So first, let me share with you the paper that we're going to use. It's country floral, and there's different variations that you can do for this project. I'm going to show you a couple here, but I'm making a ton of these, and I just want to share this with you before they are gone at Target. The first thing you're going to need is the Target item that I'm talking about. Isn't this cute? It is a tic-tac-toe board, and you can see little frames here. You can probably almost guess what I'm going to be doing with those frames, and it's not $1. It's $5, but to me, still so worth it because so many times I just don't know what to get, especially like my mom or um, you know older people that don't really need anything anymore or young people who like my grandkids love playing games and they love playing tic-tac-toe and we keep making new squares on our scrap paper so let's open this and start creating all right first we're going to dump these out and we are going to play with these little squares here so i already cut them out and they are two and one eighth inch by two and one eighth inch and all I did was take my Stampin' Up! seal and I am going to start placing them. I kind of placed them on the side so I could get the color combination that I wanted. But this is also a great way to show off our designer series paper. And um, like I said, what a fun way to have just a, a game on your coffee table or whatever. And it's almost like a little photo album because you can see pictures or you can make it... Um, you know, match your decor. So let me finish this up. All right, here we have the finished product and let me show you how cute it is once we put our little markers on because they match. Um, let's see, how did I do this before? I had them going kind of opposite. Let's see, I bet it was like this. Maybe not. <laughs> I can't remember how I did it. There we go. Okay, so that's cute just like that. Like I said, just use whatever de designer series paper that you have that matches maybe your house for a coffee table or if you want to give it as a Valentine's gift. Now you can also go a step further. You could actually decorate all these. Like you could put a heart with a family name in or a grandkid. I do have squares that um, I'm going to be placing for my peaches in Atlanta and I'm going to put them in you know like you could put a family picture in the center square and it's just really a fun way to show off pictures so when I'm done here assembling I'm going to do one more with these in and then I'll show you all the versions that I have so uh, stay stay tuned for that now the other thing I want to point out is um let me take this out so it just looks like the decorative one. I always post my host code up here. So if you ever want to order from my Stampin' Up! store, please use the host code. Now I do have to mention, 
Some of you might see the video later than what the current host code is. Sometimes that happens because we can only keep these live for 30 days, but maybe you're watching this two months later. This host code isn't going to work. So if this isn't a good one, all you have to do is go to my blog, which is www.confessionsofastampingaddict.com. And on the right hand sidebar is always my current code. So if that one doesn't work, just go there. I would so appreciate that. If you order from me and your order is over $50 and you use the host code, I will send you a free gift and a thank you card as my way of saying thank you for ordering from me. Here's another one I made for one of my friends and I want to just share with you how I packaged this up. I just put it in a, I have a long skinny cellophane bag. I don't know where I got this, um, but I just have so many cellophane bags. I just picked the size that fit and then just wrap it with a cute bow at the top and then you can tie this up with another bow and then make it a cute little gift. So that's one way to package that. I just wanted to share that with you. I want to share with you one more thing that I made. I actually did a, a mixture of different owl things for a gift and this, but I already gave them away. So I'm going to have to just show you pictures. This first item is a little treat that I found on Pinterest. The bottom little twig that the owl is sitting on is actually just a little um, chocolate covered pretzel, just a little stick. Then the middle body part is a pretzel, kind of the normal shape, but a small one. And then it's dipped in white chocolate that has some pink food coloring in it. Then I used uh, either cookie or cupcake decorations and you can get different sized hearts. And that's what the nose and the feet and the little um, ears are up on top. Then for the eyes, those are just, you know, eyes that you can buy for cake decorating. And then I put it all together when it's still wet so that everything will stick to each other. And then the next photo just shows what it looks like all packaged up. And of course I did it in the same colors. And then the last picture I want to share with you is a little treat that I found at our Fry's grocery store. It's actually a little chocolate owl and um, like I said, I already gave it away. But what I did was, it was so simple. I just used the same DSP that I showed you in the beginning of the video and then just trim it to kind of cover up all the lettering that they have. And then I made a cute little tag at the top with our adorable owl on it. And it said, it's your day on it for the sentiment. So those are just some more of the things that I put in with this little package that I made. So I just wanted to share the rest of that with you. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks, guys.